afternoon. Oh, this. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, I'm going to go with it. Good afternoon, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to sing Lift Him Up. And I can't see today, so yeah, put my glasses back on. can't sing it. I think it's the lighting. Cause the light, all right, lift him up. And I, when I'm lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. I'm in my room in Virginia, <laughs> one of the house, one of the rooms in in my um in the house that I use as an Airbnb. I, I keep it locked up, and it's my room. So now I'm in my room. They're coming in in a couple hours. I didn't want to be in the, in the area. I just didn't want to be in there my usual prayer closet because it's everything is all clean and everything now so i just want to be in my room and leave out and do a good job cleaning all right anyway lift them up and i when i am lifted up from the earth will draw all people to myself as john 12 32 help me holy spirit <laughs> <clears throat> How to reach the masses, men of every birth. For an answer, Jesus gave the key. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Lift him up, lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity. And I, if I be lifted up, from the earth will draw all men unto me. Oh, the world is hungry for the living bread. Lift the Savior up for them to see. Trust him and do not doubt the words that he said. I'll draw all men unto me. Lift him up. Lift him up. Still he speaks from me. I'm so sorry. This, I'm having a hard time. This song is hard, man. I'm tired. Oh, Lord. Ooh, I don't know if I'm singing in the wrong key, but it's work. I, I don't think I got four verses in me. <laughs> Ooh, help me, Lord. Dang, it was wearing me out. <sighs> um, But it's such a good song. Maybe I'll try a different key. I don't know. Help me, Holy Spirit. Don't exalt the preacher. Don't exalt the pew. Preach the gospel. <laughs> oh, Lord, you never know what you're going to get when you click on my tag on recording. Uh. I look really nerdy in these glasses right now. <laughs> I got used to not wearing my glasses, and now I can't see today. What's going on, Lord? What's going on? Oh. Mm. All right, I'm going to try one more time, y'all. <clears throat> Don't exalt the preacher, don't exalt the few. Preach the gospel, simple, full, and free. Prove him, and you will find the promise is true. I'll draw all men unto me. Lift them up, lift them up. Still he speaks from eternity. And I, if I be lifted up, 
from the earth will draw all men unto me. Lift him up by living as a Christian art. Let the world in you the Savior see. Then men will gladly follow him who once taught, I'll draw all men unto me. Lift him up, lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He helped me. He helped me get through that. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. What would you have me to read? dine with the ruler, note well what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. Do not crave his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Have the wisdom to show restraint. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone for they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. I know that's right. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, I like this word because um, this never been a desire of my heart to get to be rich. And, um, and because people change when they get some, you know, some people change when they get rich. And then when you're rich, you can't trust people that they, they love you for you or that they love you for them, for your money. You know, that's why I never want to be rich. And also because it says it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than a rich man to into the, enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I'm like, that's pretty much impossible to me. So I don't want to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> but he sure provides for me. I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich in love. I'm rich in, 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 in just, he just provides everything. I don't know. Maybe you do a study on what is rich, you know. All right, let me finish. Okay, cast but a glance at riches and they are gone, but they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. Do not eat the food of sting of a do not eat the food of a stingy man. Do not crave his delicacies, for he is the kind of man who is always thinking about the cost. Okay, don't be cheap. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. You will vomit up the little you have eaten, and will have wasted your compliments. Do not speak to a fool, for he will scorn the wisdom of your words. Mm. Do not move an ancient boundary stone or encrouch on the fields of the fear fatherless, for their defender is strong. He will take up their case against you. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish him with the rod, he will not die. Punish him with the rod and save his soul from death. My son, if your heart is wise, 
then my heart will be glad. My inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Amen. Yes, I will. I will. Okay. That's, that's Proverbs 23, 16. I'm going to write that down for later. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. Amen. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. All right. Listen, 19. Listen, my son, and be wise, and keep your heart on the right path. 20. Do not join those who drink too much wine or gorge themselves on meat. 21. For drunkards and gluttons become poor, and drowsiness clothes them in rags. 22. Listen to your father who gave you life, and do not, desp do not despise your mother when she is old. Amen. 23. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Get wisdom, discipline, and understanding. 24. The father of a righteous man has great joy. He who has a wise son delights in him. <laughs> I know somebody delights in their son. <laughs> 25. May your father and mother be glad. May she who gave you birth rejoice. 26. My son, give me your heart. And let your eyes help me, help, and let your eyes keep to my ways. Let me read that again. This is Proverbs 23, 26. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes keep to my ways. For a prostitute is a deep pit and a wayward wife is a narrow well. 28, that was 26 and 27, 28. Like a bad that she lies in wait and multiplies the unfaithful among men. 29. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaints? Who has needless bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? Those who linger over wine, who go to sample bowls of mixed wine. Do not gaze at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. Your eyes will see strange sights and your mind imagine confusing things. You will be like one sleeping on the high seas. I know that's true. Lying on top of the rigging. <laughs> I've drank too much before in the past. That's how I feel. <laughs> they hit me, you will say, but I am not hurt. They beat me, but I do not feel it. When will I wake up so I can find another drink? Mm. I'm going to go. I'm going to go on because I didn't. It's, I'm not feeling satisfied right now with the bird. I need, some, need some more food. Need some more food. Um, do not envy wicked men, but I know that some of this helps somebody. Um, Proverbs 24. Do not envy wicked men. Do not desire their company. For their hearts plot violence and their lips talk about making trouble. By wisdom, a house is built and through understanding it, it is established. Through not through knowledge, its rooms are filled with with rare and beautiful treasures. Amen. <laughs> That's what we're doing now. Building the house and filling it with treasures. My share of A wise man has great power, and a man of knowledge increases strength. For waging war. You need guidance and for victory, many ad advisors. All right, this is good. Okay, wisdom is too high for a fool. In the assembly at the gate, he has nothing to say. He who plots evil will be known as a schemer. The schemes of folly are sin, and men detest a mocker. If you falter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? 
Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering towards slaughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Will he not repay each person according to what he has done? Eat honey, my son, for it is good. Honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know also that wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Do not lie and wait like an outlaw against a righteous man's house. Do not raid his dwelling place. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. But the wicked are brought down by calamity. All right. So that was we ending on Proverbs 24, verse 16. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. But the wicked are brought down by calamity. Let's just wait a minute, a couple more. Proverbs 26, 24, 26. An honor answer, uh, an honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. All right, I like that. And 28, do not testify against your neighbor without cause or use your lips to deceive. Okay, good, that's good stuff. That's some good stuff. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come on you like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man. <laughs> I should have stopped, stopped while I was ahead. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's Proverbs 28, 5. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. All right, we're going to stop right there. <laughs> All right. Okay, wait a minute, one more. This is Proverbs 28, 13. He who conceals his sins does not prosper. But whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. All right. Okay, and his last one, Proverbs 28, 23. He who rebukes a man will in the end gain more favor than he who has a flattering tongue. That's good. That's good. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. He's leading me to all right. Proverbs 28 27. He who gives to the poor will lack nothing, but he who closes his eyes to them receives many curses. Mm. Twenty nine Proverbs twenty nine fifteen, the rod of correction imparts wisdom, but a child left to himself disgraces his mother. Um, twenty nine seventeen, discipline your son, and he will give you peace. He will bring delight to your soul. Oh, I need to read this one. Proverbs 29, 20. Do you see a man who speaks in haste? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Now I ask God to help me to think before I speak, before I respond. I'm getting better. I'm getting a lot better at it. I'm getting better at it. And when I don't, I feel foolish as soon as I say something. As soon as I say, say something too quick, I feel foolish. <laughs> This is just think. And in Proverbs 29, 23, a man's pride brings him low, but a man of lowly spirit gains honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As said, you say that's it. As said. Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. 
fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. I know that's right. Go ahead, Holy Spirit. That was a nice conclusion. That was this conclusion. It's like this is the last. That's the last. Just. I'm just. That's that was highlighted in yellow. I had it highlighted in yellow. And that's the end of Ecclesiastes. That was Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. <laughs> that is so cool. He gave me a lesson, y'all. The Holy Spirit gave me a lesson. But I'm a little, little time, a little long today, a little long today. But here we go. I have this bread and this wine representing your son's body and blood that was broken for our sins. We do this in memory of you, but we first ask that you forgive us for any sins that we have committed in thought, word, and deed since yesterday. Father, reveal to us any unconfessed sins. Because we don't want anything. That you find us unpleasing on us. We want to release everything that is not of you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We release any unforgiveness. We release any anger. We release any jealousy of anybody. We, we look at our blessings because you are good to us, Father. Let's look at our blessings, not be jealous of anybody. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you. Take anything that is not like you away from us right now, Father. Any negative thinking, any doubt, any fear, because fear doesn't come from you. Thank you, Father, for cleansing us from all unrighteousness. Search, search our hearts. If anything is there that's not like you, please remove it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for letting us be able to come to your throne of mercy, Father. Hallelujah. And ask for forgiveness. Ask for anything in your name and it be given to us. We thank you. Thank you for our faith. Thank you for our faith. Where's weak strength in it, please? And we do this in memory of you, Jesus. This is your bread. Thank you. Mm. Mm, thank you. Thank you for letting it be healing in your bread, in your body. Thank you. We, we claim healing for our bodies right now in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, Jesus, we are healed. You know, anything unlike you, it has to leave right now. We have surrendered to you, Father. It says surrender to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. So we rebuke you, Satan, and your plan for our lives for this day. We are healed set free and delivered <laughs> hallelujah thank you <laughs> thank you for this wine it represents oh that's too much there's too much i ain't gonna it's too much can't drink all of that thank you for this wine it represents your blood jesus thank you for letting it wash us whiter than snow thank you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you for last night's slumber, Father. Thank you for watching over us during the night, Lord. Father, thank you for wise counsel in my life and thank you for giving me the obedience to listen and be safe last and wait to travel today. Thank you so much, Father. We praise you. I praise you. I magnify you. I lift you up. Thank you so much for friends. Thank you, Father. I ask that you cover me and all my loved ones today. Watch over, protect us, Father. Protect us all and our loved ones. Father, I ask that you plead the blood of Jesus over us. And I ask that you let the Holy Spirit lead us today, lead our thoughts, words, and actions this day. Let us not do anything that displeases you, Father. We praise you. We magnify you. We lift you up. Please help us to be a blessing to somebody today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
Love y'all. Have a good day. I look like such a four eye today. I look so nerdy with these glasses on. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see. I'm trying to end the stream. Come on now. Here we go.